Hey everybody, Chris Bear Outfitters here, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about first aid kits. I got an email from a guy saying that my first aid kit that I showed off in another video that I'll show here is nothing more than a boo-boo kit, and it doesn't have all the things that you need for a more serious, robust first aid kit. And I have to partially agree, but then he says, you don't even have a chest seal in there, to which I say, sure I do, you just have to improvise one. So stick around and I'll show you how to improvise a chest seal using the items from our first aid kit. Also, it's going to be a great opportunity for us to talk a little bit about the most important thing in any first aid kit, the six inches between your ears. So without further ado, let's get to it. So as many of you may recall, I tell you to pack your first aid kit in a sandwich baggie. Now this sandwich baggie has all the goodies that you need. Like I said before, I've got a glove so that I don't get all kinds of nasties on me when I'm doing this kind of thing. And the most important thing for improvising a chest seal, we've got some tape. And then we've got the bag itself. The bag itself is the magic key to this. And it's going to give us the opportunity to create a chest seal to help our person with a sucking chest wound to deal with that horrible event. So without further ado, let me show you how to get it done. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove our victim's shirt. Now, if somebody has a sucking chest wound, that means that they have been shot in the chest or they have something that has penetrated the chest wall. And what's happening is their lungs are creating negative pressure and their lungs aren't getting air. Instead, air is going into the hole in the wound and not in their lungs. It's no bueno, all right? You want to take care of it. Now, this is the opportunity that I have to say, I just wanted to do an episode of my shirt off. I've been working out a lot lately and I feel like I'm really getting into it. Anyway, so you're gonna go ahead and take your alcohol prep pad. You're gonna clean up all the blood in there, sucking chest wound, right? You're gonna try and get the area as dry as possible. If you need to, use one of the gauze pads. It's already in our first aid kit. Next, you're gonna take your sandwich bag. You can either take it and rip it in half, or you can leave it completely together, whatever you wanna do. I wanna go ahead and rip it in half just cause, I don't know, I feel like it. Uh, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to do, all right? So first thing we're gonna do, rip our bag, all right? Now this leaves me with three clean sides and one kind of rough side there. So I'm going to, if I'm going to lean the person this direction, I'm going to put the ragged edge towards our armpit. So ragged edge towards the armpit, whichever side you're going to roll them over onto to put them into recovery position, right? So now you're going to take some tape and you're going to tape three sides of this. Now the reason that you're going to tape three sides of this and not all four sides of it is so that the wound can burp, right? And what I mean by that is that if you have a situation where you're doing this, the wound's going to get all kinds of gross. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that it has the opportunity to split some air. You're going to take it and so let's say that the, the wound is right here just above my nipple here. We're going to put this so that a full inch or inch and a half around the wound is covered. So the full sandwich bag is going to go pretty much smack dab onto my wound. All right. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and tape three sides of this. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to try and keep the person talking. If they're conscious, I want them to know that, hey, you're doing okay, buddy. We're going to make sure that you don't die by treating your sucking chest wound. Now, this is a great first aid kit to have pretty much wherever. And it is. It's very much a fix a flat kind of first aid kit. It's going to be the kind of first aid kit that you can use to deal with blisters and boo-boos and little small cuts out on the trail. But because I throw some bigger gauze pads in it, it's going to be a great opportunity to uh, treat some bigger stuff too. Now, I did say that you want to leave it to burp, right? But you want to have a small hole here and you want to make sure that any, every time that this person breathes in, <gasps> that the, the plastic creates that vacuum there. The whole point of this is we're creating an artificial chest wall. So if you need to, and if you have extra tape and you're not completely freaked out by this point, you can take a little bit of tape, about half the length of your sandwich bag there, and cover that ragged edge. All right, so now we have created an improvised chest seal. You're gonna roll this person into the recovery position, pointing down so that as they bleed, which they'll probably be bleeding, it won't fill up this, and you're gonna create that nice seal every time that they breathe in. As long as they're breathing and their heart is still pumping, you're good. Now, obviously, the first thing that you wanna do before you get into any of this is activate the emergency medical chain. So whether that's sending somebody to go get help, activating a personal locator beacon, calling an SOS, whatever it is that you're gonna to do to get help, this is very much a temporary situation. This is not gonna have them hop back up and hike out. Now, as hunting season approaches, the chance of somebody getting shot or having a second chest wound exponentially increases. So please, make sure that you 
use common sense you're wearing your hunter orange you're doing all the things that you need to but this is how you improvise a chest seal using just the simple things that I have and that really small first aid kit you can do the same thing with the uh, adventure medical kits the little 0.3 and 0.5 kits really any first aid kit as long as you have some tape and some plastic um, in the military they even use like uh, plastic ID cards or cat cards you can use pretty much anything as long as it's going to create a vacuum seal once that person breathes in the sandwich bag will get it done it's probably better to have a chest seal but if you don't want to spend the 15 bucks you're not planning on getting a chest seal uh, sucking chest wound anytime soon this will probably get it done in an emergency situation much like a tourniquet there are lots of ways that you can improvise them obviously having the actual medical device is best but if you don't have it this is the backup plan so i hope that you've enjoyed this and uh to the guy that shot me the email i hope that you like my improvised chest seal i hope that it answers the questions that you have and that you can realize that there are more ways to skin a cat than just one i hope to see you guys out there on the trail please 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 be safe this hunting season if you're planning on going through areas where people are hunting wear your hunter orange make sure that you are seen and uh, can be seen so that you don't get a situation where you might have to practice this so i hope to see you guys out there on the trail until then be safe happy trails everybody